We're gonna do some chicken, some potatoes, have some cheese, onions, garlic on there. Bacon's coming along pretty good, so we're gonna keep frying this. We're using a 14 inch deep Dutch oven for this meal. You got a bunch of different kinds of Dutch ovens you can use. They're anywhere from six, four inch, all the way up to 16 or 24 inch if you want. We're gonna use a 14 deep. You got lots of charcoal under it so we can do some frying. This whole deal is going to be mostly frying. We're going to put some heat on top of it once we uh, get the potatoes and everything in it. But it's all going to be a one dish deal. So hopefully we can bring it all together before it gets dark. We'll talk to you in a little bit. All right, everybody. Looks like our bacon's done. We're going to get ready to pull it out of here and put our chicken in there. Got chicken over here all floured up floured up we're gonna put that in got my seasoning there and then we'll uh, get it in here and get frying the chicken you'll hear a lot of different stuff about people don't use metal or whatever in your Dutch oven but I've been Dutch oven cooking for close to 20 years I've always used metal in them and I've never had a problem but you know it's each and every everyone's own preference there's no right or wrong when it comes to Dutch oven cooking there's absolutely nothing you can't do with them and no ways the wrong way and no ways the only right way so if it meets your taste buds then by golly it was a good way all right get some uh, chicken going in here line her up get frying some chicken now what we'll do we we'll put all this chicken in here we're gonna fry it brown it on one side and once the one side browned up we'll turn it and then we'll uh, squish it in here. And then we'll turn it and then we'll put our other vegetables in there and then we'll cover it and do top heat and let her cook up. We'll put some uh, of my rub on here. I make my own rub. I just, I don't crush everything but I just go to the store and I go through it and decide what I want to put in it for that bunch and, and I use it on everything chicken potatoes Dutch oven potatoes mountain man breakfast chicken pork beef everything so anyway we'll let this fry up and we'll get back to you in just a little bit thanks I think our chickens looked pretty good let me go ahead and flip them all. What we'll do is we'll rotate them and then put the potatoes and onions and garlic and everything in. Almost got too much chicken in here but good thing about Dutch ovens they just you can't really screw it up. So we'll get her turned here and Oh yeah, they're looking good. Okay. Throw a little bit of seasoning on top, just a little. Sprinkle some onions in there. And I probably got, well it's one full onion, one large onion. We got about six cloves of garlic chopped up. Put all them in. Got about five big potatoes that we done up. Man, potatoes suck a lot of uh, a lot of flavor, so you want to take and put a pretty good amount of seasoning on it, or it's going to turn out to be kind of blah. You don't want to overdo it, but you just 
Won't be scared to put some on there. Then we're going to put some more onions in there. Spatula and just kind of mix it up just a little bit just on top here This is when the big weight comes in We're gonna take and uh, Cover this up It's gonna take about an hour and a half now with this weather. It's cooling off it's starting to sprinkle a little bit, so It's gonna take us a little time We're gonna get the lid here Cover it up. We're gonna put that's one thing I should have talked about earlier, but it's a 14 inch Dutch oven. To have a 350 degree oven, you want to go with, take 14, you minus three, which is 11. So you take three away from the bottom, add three or four to the top. Depends on the weather. If it's colder out, then you want to do more charcoal altogether. But tonight we'll be all right, going approximately 11, 12 on the bottom, and then we're gonna do about 17 or 18 on top. And and this here will be a good, good Dutch oven. I'm going to cheat a little bit here, guys. You want to line the outside. Get a ring going around the outside and then just fill in in the middle there. And get it as even as you can, but it doesn't have to be perfect because you got should have a lid lifter when you're going to do this. This is my lid lifter, so when you get going on it, and you want to just rotate that lid, don't lift it, but just rotate it. And the more you uh, more you lift that to check it, the longer it's going to take to cook. The thing about a Dutch oven, it holds everything in, it holds all the heat in, so you just got to trial and error and if you're new at Dutch oven cooking then you're going to be a little more impatient than somebody that's done it more so uh, just be patient know your times it takes about an hour hour and a half to cook that so we won't even touch it again until probably about right an hour hour and 15 minutes we'll start checking our our carrots. When the carrots done, then everything's done. I don't know if you'll see it because it's getting dark, but that's when we'll put the cheese on it, and then the bacon that we fried. Put the cheese on it, and then we'll crumble the bacon on top of that, and then once that's all done, we put it on when the cheese melts. The dish is done. So hopefully, it doesn't get too dark on us, but we're gonna hopefully get this pulled off here before it gets too dark. See you in a minute. All right, folks, here's our final video on this dish. It turned out pretty good, I might say. It looks good. There you go. Come over here, honey, and take a look at that. She uh, sure looks pretty anyway. Let's uh, see what it looks like down inside. We'll get some potatoes. And... Oh, there, there, we got some chicken right there. Another piece of chicken on there. Gotta watch that drippage. Alright, folks. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. If you would, please comment. Absolutely, please share it if you like it. I'd like to hear what you guys have to say. If you guys try it, let me know how it turns out. I think I'm going to take a little bite. I'm going to test it right here in front of y'all. Mouth water can't really talk. Now it's good Dutch oven, folks. So that's the way she's done, boys and girls. Just like that. That easy. Well, till next time, God bless.